Good afternoon. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to uh, the last live Facebook of the weekend. It is, yes, definitely the last live Facebook of the weekend. Louise, don't walk out saying something, I'm live. Um, <laughs> hope you are all having a wonderful Sunday. Thank you for choosing to spend your day hanging out with me. Um, I'm super grateful. Um, very, very, very grateful and um, feeling, the, feeling the love big time. Um, and this afternoon I'm going to do a bit of a painty bit of a double-sided scrapbook page. Hey Louise, before you go, could you see if we have got a little black dress in one of those for me please? Thank you. Um, so, as part of the Great International Online Show this weekend, I have been doing four live Facebooks a day and uh, creating all sorts of bits and pieces for you. So this is Facebook number 16. I will take that offline. Um, Facebook number 16 in four days. So, woohoo! Woo Go me. Um, <laughs> I'm tired. But that's okay. Let's just crack into it. So, I thought for this afternoon I would do something a little bit painty. Hey, before I take that away, nataliemay.com.au is where you'll find all of the show specials that you need in your life. So just a reminder, there is 15% off paint, sorry, paper and collage paper for today only. And we have the no judgment postage special, which is, uh, where are we? Which is this. So no judgment postage means the postage is not free. You need to take a moment at the checkout to make sure that you have selected $12.50 for your first order, which is the flat rate. And then every order after that is only a dollar. So what we will do is we will put all your orders together. So there's quite a number of you lovely, lovely ladies who have not paid for postage, but that's okay. We'll be in touch tomorrow and have a bit of a chat. It's all good. Um, so that is available until later this evening. Um, we also have some chipboard, uh, some Minte chipboard specials, some sustainable wood shape specials. There's still a couple of the Minte 6x8 books left. Art by Marlene products are still 15% off and we've still got a couple of those left which are reduced and the rhinestones. So there we go. Okie dokie. So this afternoon, I'm going to do something in my small craft journal. Uh, the, this, is, this craft journal is uh, one of the Dina Wakeley journals. Um, one of the very, very awesome Dina Wakeley journals. And I love this journal. It's a super easy one to work in and really, really fun and I thought that I would do a quick art journal page and I'm not going to reinvent the wheel on this Sunday afternoon. I thought I would do something that has been done before because I can. Now the incredibly super talented Tracy Scott who designs for Paper Artsy. A lot of you know Tracy. Tracy has been doing uh, a in, index card a day uh, and I, what I thought I might do is this isn't gonna work what I thought I might do is cut a love heart and then put something behind it but I'm gonna do a little bit of a twist on it so before I do that this is a love heart that I've just printed off the internet I've just done a word document found an image online and and I'm just going to trace it into my page. So I'm just doing that good old scribble and trace thing that we used to do at school. But, you know, a couple of years ago when we were all at school. And I'm going to put it onto here. Find approximately the middle. That looks good. 
and I can just see an outline where I can create that shape. And it's going to be pencil, trans transfer, See you in the morning, babe. See you, ready to pack all those orders. Pack all those orders, yep. Have your packing shoes on tomorrow. And I will see you later, alligator. All right, so there's my love heart. It's a very loose love heart. But what I can do now is I can go through and just redraw that. Ah. Oh. Karen, I'll have to do it when I get offline, love. Um, I'm really sorry. I can't do it at the moment. Uh, thank you for pointing that out, though. Uh, and I've sent the, sent the lovely Louise home because both of us have... I've worked pretty much straight since last Monday. And Louise is about the same. Oh, no, we, she had Australia Day off. I didn't. All right, so there's my love heart. So what I want to do is I have a cutting mat and I'm going to use my craft knife to cut out that heart freehand. Now, this freaks people out. I'm not going to cut my finger off because I am being careful and concise. And I have a new sharp blade. And I am just going to be super careful with it. So I do love me a little peekaboo window. Um, Tracy, uh, Tracy does these beautifully. Uh, admittedly, I do believe she does it on a slightly thinner paper than what I am doing it on. Um, this is oh, super thick paper, but oh yeah, that works. Might need a little trimming up in this corner here so let's just trim that up where it's not very round so the knife that i am using is my olfa craft knife o-l-f-a uh, and i have been using a knife like this for many 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 a year it is not my first time around the block um, I'm actually going to do a second love heart. Okay, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do another one. Okay, so I'm going to do something here. I'm going to make a bit of a pocket page. So I'm just going to cut this out again. And this time I'm going to be a little bit more accurate, I hope. So that these two hearts line up together. As I go outside the lines. Sorry, for some reason I have to concentrate and I can't talk at the same time to Oh yeah, the phone's ringing. If that's somebody ringing, sorry guys, I'm not answering. 
All right. So my two love hearts will line up pretty well. Excellent. So I am going to now create a image to go into here. And I'm going to create one to go into here. Okay. So I'm going to do like a double page. And I'm going to do two different techniques on these pages. So let's do it. Here is a scrap piece of paper. I've gone for something pretty thin, nothing fancy. The first one I want to do is I will do something with my new collage papers. Uh, and I think that I will do it with double-sided tape instead of collage, collage, um, like, what am I trying to say? Gel medium, because I don't want it to take forever to dry. So as long as this is the, the area that I want to cover. So as long as I have got this area covered, everything will be fine. One. So I can definitely use uh, gel medium instead of double-sided tape, but because I'm just wanting to keep my mess to a minimum this afternoon, we're going to do double-sided tape instead, because I'm feeling lazy, and that's probably enough. So yesterday, day before, I can't remember when it was, um, you saw that I released some brand new collage paper. So we've got... Um, these ones here, are the, this is the Just Doodles, and these are not discounted, okay? The Natalie May Scrapbooking branded products are not discounted. So uh, a couple of you have messaged me asking about that, and that is just because we try and do them for the lowest possible price that we can anyway. So we've got pink paint, we've got orange paint, blue paint, purple paint, green paint. And I'm just gonna cut some strips off here. Like this, and then I'm gonna lay them up on that piece of paper. And I know there's one more. Oh, and then there's the rainbow paint. Um, but hey, I could easily just put the rainbow paint behind that. Let's have a look and see how that looks. Yeah, right. Love it. Easy. Simple. But that's too easy. We're not going to include that one. So what I want to do is I want to lay them out and kind of layer them up on top of each other and it doesn't really matter how many strips I do as long as I cover the area. So I'm just going to cut these down a bit and I'm going to kind of add some really thin decorative strips. And this idea is working really, really well in my head. I have no idea if it is going to translate. Um, but that's all the fun of doing live Facebooks with me, isn't it? That whole, um, let's just watch Natalie wing it live, because I do like to do that. So having a very sharp blade in your knife, I don't think I want to use that one, um, is going to be super important because you want to make sure that the, the collage paper is not going to tear and that it looks, um, in, and it's nice and sharp edges. All right, I'm just going to put these off to the side and then I'm going to peel the back off my tape ready to go. 
and start layering up. And I'm just going to grab one here and pop it in the middle. So you could do this with pattern paper, you can do this with anything at all. It's completely up to you. I just thought I would use my new collage paper and create this way. So I am overlapping ever so slightly. I've got the fan in here, so on in here, my little pieces of paper are just flying all over the place. And what I do like is that none of these are even either. Um, they're all a bit, um, they're all different heights and lengths and, sorry, widths. Let's put that one down the bottom, down here. A bit more pink. Green's a bit fat. So these are the collage papers that are brand new to me. We only released these a couple of days ago and they are exclusive. I forgot about the blue. Exclusive to this show. So I'm absolutely thrilled that they have come out and that you guys are loving them. There has been some firm favourites uh, so far that we have seen that you guys love. So thank you very much for your support. Have I covered enough of the heart? Nearly, just a little bit more. And we'll pop some blue at the top. So all of the tape is covered. There we go, and I like that. So my heart is gonna be covered perfectly fine. So all I need to do now is I'm gonna pop that aside, and then I'm going to come back in a moment and trim that down again, okay? So something completely different there. Let's do something a little bit painty. I'm just gonna put some paper towel down here. Sorry, thirsty work. And I'm going to do some, what am I gonna do? What colors should I go for? I'm gonna go for similar colors, but in paint. All right, and I'm gonna start off with some light colors. Uh, and I don't have my, oh, hang on, yes I do. My Ranger mat. I think I want to use that to pick the paint up off of. So, and I don't want to use too much. And I'm going to finger paint. I was going to use a paintbrush, but I'm not going to. So these are the Paper Artsy paints. So I've got lots of different combinations of colors here. I've just reached into my personal stash. Some of them are almost empty. So when I saw this uh, idea originally, it was, like I said before, done by Tracy Scott and she did it with strips of paper, I believe. Okay, so she's done a, um, a similar sort of concept with a, a cut out love heart and an image behind it. And I thought that that was really, really good, but I needed to give it a, the Natalie May sort of touch. Um, and I'm thinking that I do, would prefer brush strokes and more my style than finger marks, I think. I think I'm much happier with that. That's 
spera. And then I've just got some paper towel off here to clean my brush off. Um, that one and that one I've used that colour. I'm going to pull into some peach nectar. So these are a combination of opaque paper, uh, opaque paints and semi-opaque paints. I want something that's going to hold its colour a little as well. Um, and the paper that I'm using here is just a scrap bit of paper actually. I think they're scrapbooking album inserts that I'm using. I, I didn't want something too thick. I needed something a bit thin, uh, but something that was that I can, you know, overlap and like put back to back with the other image that I've got. Butternut, actually, butternut's not a good colour. I might pull out some, well, butternut's a great colour, but not for this project. Some Dina Wakeley yellow. Oh, yeah, nice bright yellow. Did I do that colour? No, I reckon I did. Oh, and for the purple people out there, I won't name you, and you know who you are. Popping in a little purple. Well, it's kind of plum actually. Now I'm going to go in with some blues and teals because they're my go to colours. So I've got Smurf. Oh, gee, Deb. I knew that that would get you. Caribbean Sea. So it's just about making a nice little painting background, okay? So you can see exactly what's happening here. I'm going to fill some gaps now with some... Caribbean Sea and then I'll go over the top and join some of these gaps up needs a little depth and I might bring the depth in with a combination of eggplant and Captain Peacock So I'm just squeezing a little paint out of my brush as we go. Um, sorry, a little bit of water so that I'm not putting a wet surface, uh, putting anything wet onto the page. It'll dry a lot quicker as well. All right, so I have to apologize. I am, ooh, very purple. I am running out of a bit of a steam this afternoon. I think that'll probably happen uh, towards the end of the live Facebook, 16 live Facebooks. In a weekend can be hard um, especially when I feel like I'm sitting here talking to myself all right so now I'm just going to add a little bit more pink in here and I do love that this is drying really quickly um, but it's now that I've done those big pops of color I do need some more pink
and I could do any sort of artwork to do this. So yesterday when we did um, a page, the last page of the day that I covered up with the grey background, that would work where you just create a really um, unusual sort of background. Now that phone is going again. Someone is very, very persistent. Goodness me. If you're ringing, I can't talk to you, I'm sorry. I'm a little tired up here. And I've had to send Louise home because it's Sunday and I'm pretty sure she has not seen her partner all weekend. Alright, so you can kind of see what's happening here and we're just going to overlap a little and give it a little bit more depth. So bringing in some more of that colour. Okay, all right, put your hands up if you just rang the studio. Wasn't any of you guys? Okay. Right, a little bit of white. Keeping in mind, we are just going to be getting that sort of style. Oh, oh, there's a lot here. A lot of comments have just come in. Everybody must have been typing at once. All right, I'm not going to use a paintbrush. I'm going to use a, a palette knife. So Dee's just commented saying she's been watching some videos that I did back in 2020. Um, and ex extremely inspired by the journaling by fives, um, white and art, wine and art journaling class. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That was pretty funny. And I had an absolute ball with that one. Um, so make sure that you go back and have a look on my, my YouTube channel. You can uh, jump in there and see some of the classes that I've done previously. All right, so that is 99% dry. I've pulled out my catalyst tool again, which is this lovely little number here. And I'm going to slightly swipe some white over to tone back some of those colours a little because it's a lot going on, even for me. And I will, yeah, see what's happened? It's just toned it back. Uh, Jess has just asked the question, Jess Coleman, uh, by the way, is there any chance I will ever get afterpay? There is not any more any chance at all that I will get, ever get afterpay. Um, there's two reasons behind it. Firstly, the fees behind um, afterpay are just bloody ridiculous. Um, that is the, the, the long and the short story. Uh, and secondly... I have kind of got this, um, I'm just using up this extra paint here by the way, I've got this bit of a thing about, you know what, if you can't afford it, I'm sorry, and you don't have the money in your bank account, you don't need it. I'm, and I know that that's probably not the best way to run a business, um, but especially being a hobby industry, which is what we are here, um, a hobby is a, a hobby and I don't know, This that's just me babe. I just think that afterpay is great for certain things um, but for my little business here the fees involved are just ridiculous um, as a business owner. Um, what they take, the percentage of what they take is going to, would put me out of business, it's as simple as that. Um, and we can't add on a percentage to cover the afterpay um, that's in the contract. So yes, I would love to be able to do that, but no, um, that's a no from me. Um, and and look, if you can't afford it and you have to put it on afterpay, I'm sorry, you just don't need it. I don't know if that's an arrogant attitude to have or not, but that's my opinion. Um, so, sorry sweetheart, there will not be any afterpay. We did look into it, but the 
yeah, like I said, the fees involved mean that I am doing this for even less than what I'm doing it for now, okay? Righty O. Pop that away out of where, out of my elbow reach because that's what I will do. Um, I'm going to now. So I've got that drying. What I want to do now with my actual art journal pages is I want to paint them black because I'm going to stick that under there and then that under there but I want them to really really pop so like I said channeling my inner Tracy Scott I'm going to paint these pages um, and the reason I'm going to do it in black is so they stand out and so that they they really really pop uh, so I have just got a little thing of do I want to use that? No, I don't want to use that. I want to use, I've got Louise to get that paint for me. I might as well use it. Um, paintbrush, that'll do. Oh, and it always helps to shake your paper artsy paints first, especially when they've been sitting in a stinking hot studio or they've been traveling. And now we have black paint. Okay. Alrighty. So I'm giving it a nice coat. Of little black dress it's called which is one of the paper artsy paints and apparently I'm not very good at squeezing that with my left hand edge to edge and my strokes are all going the same way so that if I end up with brush strokes and you can see them then they're going to be consistent. <laughs> black gesso would be perfect. Black, black, um, black gesso was actually my first preference and the only reason I'm not using it is because I think I've sold out online. So the minute I use black gesso, people want to use it, want to buy it straight away. So yes, black gesso would be perfect. Um, black paint would be fine. The only reason I used, like I said, the only reason I'm using the paper artsy one is because it. I know that there's some on the shelf at the moment and I didn't actually have one open. Um, so yes, the black um, paper artsy paint. So paper artsy paints I do love. Paper artsy paints are, um, they've got a really lovely chalky sort of finish to them as well uh, and I do like that so it's just about making the page pop so I'm making sure I'm getting right up in that corner and the paintbrush that I'm using here is perhaps a little soft perhaps it is extremely soft and it's making it really hard so there we go and I'll use a different paintbrush on the other side now I'm going to dry that very quickly. And have a quick drink break. If it wasn't for the fact that I have to drive home, I would be having the gin and tonic that is in my fridge here at work. But no, I'm on the pomegranate sparkling water this afternoon. I'm trying to cut down on the amount of Pepsi Max and artificial other stuff that I drink. Okay, so that's done. And what I'm going to do next, so I'm not going to paint that page because that page I'm actually going to stick together. 
So I'm going to grab another bit of paper towel uh, under there and do the same thing again. This time I'm going to use a more efficient paintbrush. that one will do not so long in the bristles this is one of the paint brushes that I bought back from Arizona um, a couple of years ago I bought back a stash of some of my favorite tools that I found when I was over there because um, everyone has their favorite paint brushes and they cost me a small fortune you know, that was actually three years ago this week. I reckon I was coming home from Arizona, which is exciting. Wouldn't that be nice to head back there again? But alas, it is not meant to be. Where I was over there to go to um, Creativation at the time, which was where they released all of the new products for the season. So I was extremely fortunate to hang out with all the cool kids like Alison Bevis. Actually, Alison Bevis and I just shared a room together, which was like hanging out with a little Australian celebrity. Uh, and we went and hung out with quite a few people. Um, John Peterson, Christy Taylor, who has sadly passed away from uh, one of the COVID deaths last year in the States. She was one of the designers for Stencil Girl. Very awesome lady. Um, who else did we hang out with, Alison? This, these, okay, Anne's just asked the question, and this is a brush from my personal collection that is a very, very expensive brush that I bought in the States, not available online, and I'm sorry about that, and I shouldn't use it, but everyone has their favorite items that they like to use, and this is mine. I do have some brushes coming in in a couple of months time, which are going to be very, very similar. All right, done. Doesn't matter what the inside looks like. It was a lovely fun dinner, wasn't it? Um, who else was there? Um, John and, oh, Jen Cushman. She's an awesome creative lady as well. She was, she's a very awesome creative lady. Um, that was a table full of interesting people that night. It was a bit overwhelming. When you get invited out for tea with all the cool kids and then don't know anyone and feel a little bit out of place and you know, all that sort of thing. And it was rather hilarious indeed. Um, all right, there we go. So we are all painted up. So something that the incredibly talented Tracy Scott quite often does as well is she stamps in black on black. Now this is a really awesome technique. So I'm just gonna pop that back in the middle uh, and pull out a couple of stamps and some ink. So I have some black archival ink here. Nothing fancy. Uh, yeah, Alison was my um, plus one. I do remember that. Okay, and I've just pulled aside some Seth Aptor stamps because uh, I like these, these marks. And maybe a block would be handy. My little baby block. There we go. So I'm just going to do this. So stamping black on black is very awesome because the image is there but it kind of just sits in the background. I like it. Now I'm going to use the Art by Marlene writing on the wall stamp. So don't forget Art by Marlene is still on special 
So still 15% off until the end of the weekend. And that is crooked, but that's okay. Um, so the Art by Marlene products are still on special. Get into it. And there's a lucky dip. Don't forget about the lucky dip. All right, so there's that. And then the last one I'm gonna use, maybe the last one, is the my Natalie May scrapbooking don't overthink stamp because, you know, that's a thing, isn't it? And I do love this pattern. So you can see it all going on there, that black on black. And because I can't leave it alone, I've got this little one here, which is on this stamp set. So did you all, have you all enjoyed the live Facebooks this weekend? The live scrapbooking? Um, the, what else have we done? Art journaling, we've done some cards, a little bit of everything this weekend. Um, I know I've had an absolute ball. There's been some really amazing things that I've created this weekend that have um, surprised myself because, you know, I do that too. Now, the reason why you can see this black on black stamping is because black archival ink is an oil based ink, okay? So I'm just going to do that now and that and that. And then we're going to, as we like to say, a bit of rinse and repeat. So I've got my ink pad off to the side here. And I've still got that one on the block. So we're just going to do that. And I hope that you've been supporting some of the other exhibitors in the uh the online who are participating on the online show if any of you are fabric people my craft wife the lovely fiona from fine french linen make sure that you head over and have a look at her bits and pieces um, fiona is like myself another hard-working aussie girly who um, has a <laughs> um, has a her own business um, puts hours and hours and hours into what she does and um, has got a product that nobody else in Australia has so if you're a, a person who loves fabric or you know someone who loves fabric check out fine French linen um, there's a lot of other really amazing exhibitors uh, with this online show and it is always good to keep this business alive by supporting everybody else okay we can't we can't do it without each other i mean yeah of course i want all the business because that's you know because i want world domination which is not at all true but um, you kind of get the idea here. It's all about supporting everyone like you would if you were going to a real in-person show, okay? Because that is how we roll. All right, we've got this black on black stamping. So black on black stamping is something that I actually did in some of my very first mixed media layouts years and years and years ago. I love how the light's catching that actually, that's really well. I could also do some clear embossing powder over the top of it and heat, um, heat emboss it, that would also work. Um, but I do love this. So, this idea completely and totally adapted from the super clever Tracy Scott from Paper Artsy. And I'm just going to give my hands a quick wipe before I touch the next thing. You collect quilting fabric, Karen. Oh, 
you know what, I do too. And then I had to send them to someone, send my fabric to someone to make some masks and bits and pieces out of. Because I can't sew a button on a shirt. Seriously can't sew a button on a shirt, but I'm okay with that. All right, what I want to do now is I'm going to measure my page here. So I know that my page, I need to make sure that my little pieces of paper that I created are going to be at least five and a half inches by five and a half inches to cover to cover that area. So I have to do get my trimmer out. Five and a half inches by five and a half inches, right? So let's just go with, maybe I'll use a trimmer, you know. So I am at five and a half inches by five and a half inches and that will do for that one and we do the same thing again. Now, this one's a little trickier. I think it needs a haircut first before going into my trimmer. Right, there we go. Got the double sided tape everywhere. to the bottom <laughs> right to the top oh and I might have messed that one up a bit actually let's see and as long as I am five and a half inches I can take a little off of each side I've had a few little furfies live on my Facebooks this weekend haven't I not measuring properly so let's see if I haven't messed that up and see if it's gonna work <gasps> yeah it does look at that sorry now you can look at that and that works and that works as well Perfect. right so first things first Let's get some adhesive on the inside of this heart. Nappy pin. Isn't it funny, if I told my daughter that that was a nappy pin, she would have no idea what I'm talking about. My 18 year old wouldn't have the foggiest. Anybody else with me on that? Is that showing your age sort of thing or what? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Gonna add a little sticky tape. And apparently, very shortly, a sneeze. So please excuse me if I, I suppose I haven't sneezed, sneezed live on, what would a day be if I didn't sneeze live on Facebook, okay? So this is just a little sticky to make sure they're all stuck down. out of that sneeze, I think. Oh, is anybody watching? Oh, look at that, there's a few of you there watching. Rightio, now this one. Oh, that's badly 
done, Natalie, but we've committed to it. So I'm going to have to trim that bit off there. Because if I moved it, then I would have smudged the glue. And I don't really want any more glue than that showing. Because that will happen. Right, stick that on there. So now I've got to fix up my little mess at the top here. So where I have cut over, what I'm going to do is get my scissors and just trim within my page. In fact, I'm going to crack out my super sharp blade again and tear it back. And then tape that baby down. Da -na, da -na, da -na. And now I need to tape these pages together and I'm going to stop, maybe. Maybe? Or maybe I'll do some doodling on the inside there. So I'm cracking out the big tape. This is a 36, this is a 36 mil. So I do like this big wide tape for this purpose. Uh, because it it really does the job and that is what I want I want it to really do the job um, I don't use this tape very much because it is an investment tape <laughs> um, so we know what an investment tape is it's one that you kind of look at the price of it and go geez shit, do I really need that sometimes you do And I do. Stick it down good. And then, so when I stick this back, it's going to line up nicely. And I do one piece at, oh no, just do it. Just do it. Just get it done. So can you imagine how awesome this would look on a bigger journal? Um, of course, I'm only doing it on a small one today, just because Oh, I can, and it's quicker, and it's easier. So I've got a thick page, but I love it. And I could add a doodle. I could doodle, doodle, doodle away. Shall I? Shall I doodle? What, what have I got? Have I got a white pen that want to work? Wants to work today? Um, need to test before I. Oh, that one's empty. For some reason, I'm saving that empty pen for a wet, rainy day. This one looks like it's full, but it's been laying on its side, so that one's not going to work for me. Da, 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 da. No. Doodles, please. Oh, of course. I would love to sit here and spend the rest of the afternoon doodling. But, ladies, this has been, like I said, my 16th live Facebook in a row in four days. And I know that you're out there. And I know that you're out there listening. And I am super grateful that you're out there listening. But when you're sick of sitting here listening to your own voice, because Lou's not here, and I'm just sitting here talking to myself at work, which is pretty funny actually, because there's people like walking past and walking their dogs and they can see me in the window um, with this ring light on my desk. And I'm sure that they think that, um, <laughs> What the heck is this woman doing? She's just like doing weird tutorials. Uh, and I'm not going to put that down, otherwise it's going to transfer because the paint's not dry. So I'll do it this way. I really love that. How good does that look with that one streak of orange through the middle? Oh, 
like I said, every now and again, I surprise myself. So for those of you just tuning in, um, and for those of you who have stuck by me through the last hour, uh, this is an art journal page using uh, a tech, well, a, a loose, loosely based on an idea that I saw on Tracy Scott doing her index card a day, and that woman is an absolute freaking rock star. She's super creative. Um, take a moment to look her up. But this is an adaption of her artwork into my art journal. Uh, she did it as a single page. I've turned it into like a flippy sort of thing. And um, sorry, she did it as an index card and I've turned it into an art journal page flippy sort of situation. So um, loving that. And now I'm just going to have a quick scoot off and have a look through Pinterest. Oh, I needed to write a note about something else, didn't I? Um, and see if I can find a Pinterest quote because I do love me a big, fat, juicy quote, especially on a page like this where I have got, you know, a big area where I can write. Oh, here's one. Two more. Oh, sh rats. Okay, that went well. And again, you get to watch Natalie fix a mistake on a page. So, how do we do that? <laughs> We paint over it. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Okay. We paint over it. Then we dry it. And I might just get a smaller. <sighs> Some days. Some days. Right, dry, start again. How do you fix a mistake on a black page? Just like that. <laughs> I have rocked the whole fixing a, a fur feet on screen situation, haven't I? Jeez, how many times have I done that today or this weekend? Right, let's have another go. It's a bit hot, let's give it a second. We're, we lean even more from, we learn even more from your hiccups. Yeah, good, I'm glad. Frustrating, to say the least. Um, okay. Right, there's the first quote. Now while I find a second quote, we will let that dry. And I want something around the same sort of size, so it's gonna take me a second just to How about my brain has too many tabs open? Yeah, here you go. Here we go, I got one.
how do you spell tequila? Tequila. T E C Q U I L A. Whoops. A. Hey. Tequila. Da, 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 da. Tequila. T E Q U I L A. Or maybe I should have just gone for gin because I can sp I can spell that. Um. Thank you, Pat. I oh, know that's me and my brain not doing all the things at once. <sighs> Trying it off so I can close it. So I'm kind of loving that. I think that that is made me smile, and I hope it's made you smile today because this is why I do it. Um, I do it to make you smile. So. Just to recap, I've got a little page here in my craft journal, which is a six by six size, and I've cut the love heart out, two love hearts. We've made a pattern paper here with my new rice paper and a painting page there. Um, we've stamped, which you can see those stamps flickering in the light. Added a few little spots with the paint pen. Fixed a nice big ink fart at the top there, as I like to call it and then um, written on that with a couple of quotes. So jump online to uh, nataliemay.com.au and today we have got collage paper uh, discounted at 15% uh, off. We have got pattern paper at 15% off. And don't forget about no judgment postage. Postage is not free, okay? and. Um, I do need to, I will be getting in contact with some of you tomorrow. Postage is not free. Postage is $12.50. Take a moment at the checkout to make sure that you have paid your $12.50 for postage. Any additional orders after that are only a dollar, okay? That is fine, but you do need to make sure that you are paying $12.50 for your first order, please. All right, otherwise we have to be one of those people that nags you. And I don't like nagging because, you know, I do it enough with the 18-year-old. Uh, so there you go. I love that. Love that, love that, love that, love that. All right, guys, and I am done. Um, I now have to tidy up. Um, either that or I come in at 7 tomorrow morning and do it. What am I going to do? Do I do it now or do I do it later? Uh, getting ready to start packing all your orders. So I'm looking forward to spending a couple of days of packing. Uh, so jump online, nataliemay.com.au. You will find all, everything that you need and so much more uh, there online. We have got bucket loads of new stock coming in over the next couple of weeks. There's some new releases on the way. There's all sorts of stuff happening. Um, so please make sure that you have a bit of a look and jump online to the uh, Natalie May Creative Community. You still have a full day left to enter our competition for the month where you can win a $25 gift voucher to the online store. Okay, so you've got to be in it to win it. Um, hello, Vicky. Hello, Leslie. Hello, Pina, my love, love, love. Um, all right. Keep on smiling, guys. Wash your hands. Kiss your kids. Wear a mask. And again, thank you for your support. Um, some of you have sat with me through all 16 live Facebooks, um, and I do greatly appreciate that. Um, thank you. Chat soon.